Hey guys, welcome back to my playthrough of Red Dead Redemption 2. Before I even attempt to do the little recap of the previous episode, I have to mention that this channel just reached 15,000 subscribers and that is so crazy to me. Never in a million years would I have thought that I would ever have this many people watching my silly little videos. I really can't thank you guys enough for taking the time to be here and constantly showing me so much love and support. Regarding the previous episode, we gave the letter to Bo and then spent some quality time with Javier and Lenny. Now I think all we can do is go ahead and meet up with Micah, so that is probably, sadly, how we'll be starting off today's part. But of course, before we do that, I want to give a big thank you to my channel members. Thank you guys so much for joining me for today's episode. I'm so excited to continue playing. Let's get into it. Lenny and I raided a big old house in the swamps, stole some guns. Good work. Yeah, it's a pretty good spot. Well hidden. Okay, I know what I just said in the intro. Morning, Arthur. Hey, like Kieran. I won't miss that other place, that's for sure. Keep your nose clean. Okay, I'll catch you later then. So I just saw that there's another mission on the map. And it's not my cast mission. And I'm pretty sure it's Bill. At first I thought it was Bo. But it's somewhere right near camp, I think, so... It's probably Bill. I need a word with you, Morgan. Well, there we go. What's up, Bill? What is it? We got something cooking you might be interested in. Am I gonna like the sound of this? Been cooking since Horseshoe, but you went and kicked up all that commotion in Valentine. Me? Now, we was preparing to rob the bank there until you got involved in all that nonsense, and I don't know, I just feel like it's unfinished business. That wasn't my fault. It was just one of them things. How come every time I get in trouble, I'm called a fool and an idiot? But when you get in trouble, oh, it's just one of them things. <laughs> it's a good point, Arthur. A very good point. All right, well, what do y'all want me to do? Well, hit the goddamn bank with us. <laughs> I really got to change the hats. You really think it's worth going back there? Four of us can hit the bank easy. But I ain't gonna lie to you. There will be law if we linger. Oh, no. Are you serious? No. Just local boys being rounded up and pressed into action. Meaning? If we go in quick and quiet, we can hit it just fine. If there's four of us, I mean. Y'all think it's worth the risk? It's a bank, Arthur. So? Is the take good? According to the fella I met, yes. It's the end of the stock sales. Plenty of money and plenty of people milling oh, about. Oh, boy. This is probably gonna go wrong. Okay, I suppose. Damn it's worth it. taking a look at least. Arthur. I'm gonna be performing. I better go get changed out of these rags. Give me a minute, gentlemen. Okay. So, Bill, this better be good. It is good. We put a lot of research into this one. I hope so. Mr. Morgan. Herr Strauss. That man. The debtor, Thomas Downs, apparently he's dead. Dead? Huh. Well, no, he didn't seem very well. Which one? His wife. I believe he has a wife and child. She will assume the debt, of course. Of course. Then you can head up there and collect. We lent them a lot of money. Okay. Gentlemen, let's go rob ourselves a bank. What's the oh, plan, man? man. Oh, we're gonna send Karen on in ahead as a uh, distraction. Then we're just gonna rush on in afterwards. Just a small bank in a little town. Nothing that big in way of security. We just I can't believe this. Along as a insurance policy. Yeah, that sounds about right. Why am I even paying off right. any bounties? Follow me. If they just keep doing the same yeah. thing over and over again. I guess we've not robbed a bank before, so, so that's something new. Tell me again about this big can't go wrong plan of yours. Oh, it can go wrong. Anything can once the shooting starts. Wait a second, I I can't do this. Well, that's reassuring. Like I said, we'll see how it looks. If we can get in all right, we'll send Miss Jones ahead to the bank. They won't recognize her. I'll show you boys how it's done. What are you thinking this time? I don't know. Fellers always like the lost little girl, but nobody plays a drunken harlot quite like me. Need a <laughs> work. 
Once he's got them distracted, we'll move in. When I was scouting the place the other day, there was only a couple of guards. We deal with them and any customers who are feeling brave. And you oh always fancy yourself as the vault man, right, Arthur? Now I see why you brought me. Oh, no. Hey, I'm more than willing. Nah, best I do it. Oh, and did Dutch tell you I've also been cooking up some deals with them gray boys? What? No. What kind of deals? See, you don't realize, Morgan, I'm out there putting in the work same as you. I've been drinking with them a couple times now. It seems they're looking for some extra security. Yeah, I'm sure they are. Could be something in it for us. Well, just be smart about it. We got a lot of irons in that fire right now. Yes, I know, Morgan. Glad you and Lenny are alone for this, Karen. Someone's got to keep you boys out of trouble. <laughs> I ain't sure even Lenny can be relied on to keep his head. Not after that night you two had in Valentine's. Yeah, I've been trying to forget that. <laughs> little I remember. Of. I remember. She's always been a bad drunk. And before you say it, I know. It takes one to know one. Guess we'll never learn. And Bill ain't much better. So should we stop for some whiskey? <laughs> How about we wait till after the bank, all right? Bet you didn't think we'd end up over this way. So what's going on with these two families? The Grays and whatever the other one's called. It's more Dutch and Jose's thing. An old feud they're trying to get in the middle of. If it plays right, they reckon we can get some gold out of it. Never can resist a scam, those two. <laughs> yep. Dutch already managed to get us deputized. We got the biggest price on our hands west of Chicago, and now we're working for the law. Well, I'm sure he knows what he's doing. So far, I'm not sure. It's been a lot of fancy talking from him yep. and Hosea, while I Mostly do Dutch. all the dirty work. Just like the old days. Something like that. Another bank, Miss Jones. Been a while. Another hey, bank. Remember that bank in Tucson? All them years ago? You, me, and Javier? <laughs> Of course, how can I forget? <laughs> the nun. Thou shalt not steal a habit from the local convent. Whose idea was that? I forget. I just know the guards were searching everyone on the way in for guns. Except for sweet sister Karen. Two shotguns and a pistol you had under your skirt. <laughs> I'm surprised you could even walk. <laughs> that was a good take, too, if I remember right. It was. And apart from that one fellow you shot in the knee, nobody got hurt. If only they all went like that. You ready, Karen? Damn right. Looking forward to this. Just be careful. Of course. So, how are you feeling about this, Lenny? Well, at first I thought it was a bad idea. But then I figured... They all are if you think about them long enough. Certainly have been recently. I mean, why the hell not? Roll with it. I just told him we needed you along. I appreciate the confidence, kid. And if we didn't rob this bank, we really would be slipping. Thoughts like that. And you're one of us, no doubt. Yep. Sure hope so. All right. Guess we're doing this then. Not sure this is a good idea. You did well. That gang at Shady Bell? Yeah, thanks. <laughs> and I heard the rest of them have moved on from there now, so we must have sent enough of a message. Whoa, uh, that's I nice. Reckon so that will have to wait. We're here. Let's take it nice and easy. This can't be good. It's good to be back. I really miss Valentine.
Good afternoon. Hello. Let's go, Frank. We did it. Okay. Let's leave the horses here off the main ground. All right, gentlemen. Here we are. Okay. Get ready. I don't know how to feel about this. Karen, go to work. Of course. All right, keep it cool and follow me, fellers. Karen must be so excited about this. decided. Is it lost little girl you want or the drunken harlot? I I want to see the 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 harlots. Oh, of course, you know I like the harlot. <laughs> You're the only one. You're a bunch of filthy sinners and the heartbreakers, a lot of you. Now where is he? If you're ready, get going. Good luck, gentlemen. We got this. Do we? Mask. Okay, we're going. No, uh, hold on. Wait till she's gotten real dead. like you don't know me. Stuck up in here. Not so goddamn stuck up last night. Oh, sorry. Just between us. I've never seen this woman in my life. Get your goddamn hands up! This is a goddamn robbery! Nobody move! No word up! Nobody move! Don't make us hurt you! Here! Unlock it! It's unlocked! We're good! So there? Oh, okay. Oh, oh you think we're here? Come on! Oh. Oh. Open that goddamn vault! Oh. Oh. Open it! Oh. Oh. Right now. Oh. Son of a bitch needs to get a move on. Okay, okay, dude. Just open the goddamn door right now. I don't want to beat him, but he's taking so long. Too goddamn uh. slow. Uh. Uh. Dude. Bitch, hurry up! Come on! Okay. Behaves himself in here. Come here. <laughs> Open the lock boxes now. I, uh, the, the, the manager does that. You're the manager I, now. God damn it. Now what? Guess I'll crack them or blow them up. Keep an eye out. I'll be as quick as I can. Crack safes. Yeah, I think I should be able to crack these. Should All I be? Right, but you oh. better be quick. <laughs> You shut the hell up and stay still.
Okay, okay maybe we should just blow this up. You need to move this along. How are you getting off? I can't. Going as fast as I can. Damn. This is slower, but it's quiet. That was a lot of money. Okay. Hey, watch him there. Don't worry. I see him. Come on, Arthur. Please, let me go. I won't say nothing. I swear. Shut the hell up and stay where you are. I'll go check the front. Bill, how's it going in there? We're getting there. A few more minutes. How's How much it money there? is that? Good. Told you. Don't count your chickens just yet. We should have just blown this up. That's another one cleared. This is looking good. How much longer? Only yeah, two more. There. Okay, We're almost there. You reckon that's enough now? Maybe. Yeah, it's never enough. Well, I am ready to get the hell out of here whenever you are. Almost done. Come on, Arthur. That is way too much Last money. One. Something good. We got to move. This can't be right. Wait, what the fuck? That is like way too much money. Search desk? This one? Wow. Yeah, I think we're done. We can loot him, but I'm just not gonna do that. I'll lead the way. Let's go. Everybody, stay calm. All of you count to a hundred and keep your mouth shut. You understand me? Are we actually doing this? Maybe if we did blow it up, law enforcement would have showed up quicker. At least that would have made sense. Pinkerton guys? Yeah, yeah. Now let's get the hell out of this goddamn town. We ain't do anything.
good. love to return to build but my horse is not doing good God. there we go yeah i think i was just running too fast and i didn't notice all right i think we lost him. thank you gentlemen that was stupid and dangerous. Thank you, Bill. We're alive and we're paying. I'm sure that is <laughs> a lot of money. Now, that is the problem. <laughs> Bill, <laughs> this you. is a very good take. That should be happy, even if it did come with a heap of trouble. Ah, it was fun. <laughs> well, maybe you're right. Now, go on, get out of here. I have some other business to attend to. Don't head directly back to camp. Yeah. And make sure you ain't followed. <sighs> Why? Wait, my hat. Now that is a bug. Here we go. Right to Down's Ranch. Easy now. Dream catchers. What? How have I never seen those before? Wow. Okay, okay. then, girl. Yeah. Let's continue. They seem to be a bit far away, right? I don't remember where they live. Oh, there we are. Okay. Oh boy. My husband's not cold in the ground and you've come back here. Archie, I nearly paid off what was owed. Your husband knew the rules when he took that money. Now, I'm real sorry about the way things turned out, but he had a choice. Ain't my fault about the way the world is. He didn't have a choice. He was good, and he did good. There wasn't no choice in that. And you've as good as killed him yourself, and don't kid yourself. You had a choice. You speak as if killing was something I cared about. You ever wonder about eternity? You should. I hope it's hot and terrible, Mrs. Downs. Otherwise, I'll feel I've been sold a false bill of goods. Now, please, give me that money. <sighs> Either you got a lazy eye or lack of respect. Which is it, boy? I ain't got no lazy eye. No respect for the lacks of you. Well, maybe when your mother's finished mourning your father, I'll keep her in black on your behalf. You think on that, boy? Arthur! Right, maybe you shall, sir. And maybe other events will transpire. You best stick to them books, because mark my words on this. Vengeance is an idiot's game. Ah, Mrs. Downs, thank you for your punctuality. It's next to godliness, isn't it? That's cleanliness. I'll have to take your word on that. Good day. That's horrible. We already just made so much money, so was it really necessary to collect that debt? That's just so wrong on so many levels. And we're back. Twenty 
thousand? My share is what? Good work on that bank job. Loved every minute. There'll be plenty more where that came from. That was really awesome. And right, I can't well, believe that worked. Should be getting on. Okay. Away with you, silly man. Oh, no, Even no. If I was five years younger, or a thousand dollars richer, well, I'd marry hey, you. Mr. Being a dishonest Morgan. woman of you, I would. <laughs> and that'd be the best decision I ever took. Uncle, you talk too much. <laughs> You're a fine woman. Oh, you keep it hidden under that sour vinegar face, nasty acid tongue. But I know that's just a rose's thorns. <laughs> You're a silver tongue flatterer and no mistake. Oh, no, I tell the truth, ma'am. I must get back to my work. You did real Hi, good in Valentine. <laughs> Thanks. You too. I'm ready for the next one. Yeah. Oh, boy. Let's wait a bit. Rhodes has a bank, I think, a pretty big one. You did good, Valentine. Told you it'd be a good score. Yep, you were right. Okay, well, let's talk more later. Let's okay, talk to then. Dutch. I'm sure he's ecstatic. Oh, I don't want to enter your camp anymore. You Sorry, Dutch. About the bank and Valentine? Yeah, sounds like it went very well. Good work, Arthur. Uh, Bill, Karen, and Lenny put it together. Well, I should get back Wait, to it. Wait, but All right, Arthur. what the hell? Dutch! Whoa. Yes, Arthur. Oh my goodness, he's getting angry again. Dutch, can you stop being such a little bitch? Also, I thought this was like the big thing. The fact that we Arthur, robbed this bank. Arthur, people are talking. You stopped. You stopped working for us all. Are you fucking How'd stupid? You no money in the box for ages. Come on, son. You're the best man among us. Don't go weak on me now. Please. I've been sort of busy, Dutch. I'll get back to it. I am personally funding this entire camp. What's wrong now? I've seen you looking at her, Dutch. Who? You know who. Getting too old for you, am I? That's how it usually works with you, isn't it? Just so You're you know, I'm gonna kill them. Again. I'm gonna kill well, all of them. Who, Mrs. Adler? What is going on? Day. I'm gonna find them Doesn't and kill each and You're every one of them bastards. Just watch me. You've had a bad time, but... But we ain't in the revenge business. It don't keep you fed. Just watch me. I'm not stupid. I've been watching. Oh, that much is painfully clear. You're playing a dangerous game. Well, you literally dance. I am trying to read here. Read what? Hey, over here, over here. Again. Please, friend. You gotta help me out here. Come on, please. I'm about done here. If I don't get these shackles off soon, I'm a goner. Please. There you go. Oh, thank God. Oh, well, I waited to hear that noise for so long. Yeah, I bet. I, I wish I could give you some money or... Well, you know, I might have something of interest. You know, Ansburg? Go on. Well, some la di da rich folks bought up a little cabin up north of there. Very remote. You get me? Okay. You sure I'm the right person for this sort of information? I ain't saying nothing. Do with it what you will. That's another guy, though, right? Hey there, girl. Well, thanks for the information. Whoa! Shit! What is going on here? You are going the other way. way. Oh, get me the hell out of here! Put him down! I just killed a defenseless man. 
What is going on here? I'm gonna tell the law all about you. And if they ever come out here. Where's the sport in shooting someone in a cage? What are you gonna do? I ride with Colum O'Driscoll, you fool. Who exactly is the fool here? I'm sorry, what? Morning, mister. Morning. It would be probably smart to pay off our bounty. I see you there. Give me a minute, please. Hey, Bonnie. You must have done some real trouble to acquire this kind of price in your head. 120? Ah, oh, damn it. Okay, but we also have four thousand seven hundred seventy-four dollars right now, so hey, as well, this then, is nothing. You're a lot of work. Thank you for your help. Idiot. A hundred and twenty dollars. Damn. Yeah. We're right next to Micah, and we can collect another debt here. So that's what we're gonna be doing now. At first, I think I'm gonna go for the depth. Faster. That him? Oh boy. Hello, Winton. Win homes. I didn't expect to run into no one out here. Mm. Funny how far a man's debts will follow him. You got some money for me, boy? I seen your name in our ledger. You're with the German? Look, I, I got it for you. It's just, I don't got it yet. It it's up in them hills. Mm. You panning for it? Hunting it. I tracked this cougar. It's rare. Lily white coat. The pelt to more and cover what I owe. If I'm skinning anything, I'm skinning you, boy. <laughs> Please, I'm out of work. It's the only way you'll get paid, and all the hard work's already done. Fine. Move. We'll um, uh, need our horses. It's um, quite a trip. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What do we have here? Okay, we don't need any of that. All right, drive, boy. Let's get where we're going. Drive. Okay, follow me. Drive. I'm driving. Make me come out here, make me chase all over this goddamn mountain. Hey, yep. you knew it was a risk. I didn't know nothing. Your name's all I knew. Well, the German-speaking fella then, Mr. Strauss, he knew my work situation was precarious, that this whole thing was a... A risky venture. Wait, risky? I'm out yeah, risky risk for now? who? Are you threatening me, Winton Holmes? I ain't. No, certainly not. Sir, I'm... I'm merely stating a man without a job, with limited prospects, at those rates, repayment was by no means guaranteed. I said I'd do my best, and I did. You're continuing to annoy <laughs> me. We're going right here, up the stream. Hey, how about this then? I guarantee you paint. Because I'm going to get that money out of you. If I got to squeeze you like a lemon, it's coming out. Yeah, of course. We're on to it now, okay? We're on to it now. The cash is in that cougar, mister. Sure as pumpkins ain't cauliflowers, the cash is in that cougar. It better be. Or I'll turn you into a goddamn cauliflower. <laughs> Up here, we ain't too far now. What I know about cats, this one's rare as hen's teeth. I mean, you ever seen an alabaster wildcat? Big thing about cougars is they see you, not the other way around. And yeah, we've hey, already Eva, seen a cougar. You'd see this one. I've been hunting with my pa. Shot all kinds of cats. Never one like this. In another life, 
I'd have sought my fortune outdoors, not in the hot, stinking belly of a tar pit. I ain't interested in your regrets or your <laughs> life story, Mr. Holmes. Just your damn money. Drive. Oh, it's getting a bit cold. Is my outfit this is it. still We're doing dead. good? We should leave the horses. All right. All right. Show me. You'll see her soon. Quiet now. Won't be able to miss her shining in the dark. There we go. You hear that? There's a cougar in here. And I bet she's white as virgin cotton. Two paths. The tunnel diverges up here. I'll take the left, you go right, and we'll see if we don't converge down a ways. Okay. And look out for her. Yeah, uh, yeah. Oh. You're meant to be going the other way. Dude, are you not seeing this? At first I thought that maybe just be wine or something, but that's a whole skeleton. Yep, she's here. Winton. Wait, that was not good. What what do you mean? I'm collecting a depth here. How many corpses are here? Just asking for a friend. Great. That's a very pretty kitty. Where are you? Uh, gotcha. I think the first shot killed her. But I just wanted to make sure. No, she's beautiful. I'm sorry. Oh, what the Swap. fuck? Better be rare. Here we are. Sell. White core pelt. Forty-one dollars, not bad. Nice. And that's all I think. Now I do know that Micah is somewhere right here. Yeah. Let's go get him. Oh shit. You're fine, horse. Let's talk to the foreman. We could use you right now. Oh, wait, what? Well, that's it. You three, back to work. We lost too much time on this already. Mr. Appleseed is very unhappy. Mr. Oh, Appleseed no. ain't out here getting mauled by wolves. We lost two men already. Ugh! What's your good for nothing, cowards? Yeah, yeah. You call yourselves lumbermen, you afraid of us few damn critters? It's a forest. What the hell do you expect? Critters. Oh! Yes! Yes! Maybe Me? you're the man I need! Can you believe these lazy lily livers? Refusing to work on account of a few little wolves? They've been attacking workers on the south side of the camp. We need a real man to get rid of them. What do you say? You'll be very well rewarded. Sure. All right. If you're paying, I should be able to take care of that for you. 
So where is that? Investigate the site of the animal attacks. Poor oh, Joe. Uh, yeah. I wanted to go and get to Micah, but I'm getting distracted once again. So. Where exactly would that be? Easy now. Follow the trail? Oh boy. This is not possible. The aim it's not working. What was that? Damn it. Hello. I have returned. Oh, there you are. The wolves are no more. From all the Gunshots and howling, you got some good news for me? Yep, it's done. Whew, that's a relief, I'll tell you. Excellent work. Money's right there on the table. How much Don't is that? Me and wolves go way back. <laughs> $50? Wow, you really wanted to get rid of those wolves, huh? Alright, Micah was literally right up ahead. If we follow this trail of corpses, animal carcasses, we get to Micah. Maybe it wasn't the wolves, maybe it was Micah, who knows? Oh, he's down there, right? Yep. Hey, Arthur. Good to see you. Why? You want rescuing again, do you? <laughs> no. I got a plan to make it up to you. What a now? Plan like the Blackwater Ferry job, or like you going off scouting and ending up in jail? Dutch said you was a, a big shadow cast by a tiny tree. I don't even know what that means. <laughs> I thought you was a tough boy. <laughs> Not one of those gentlemen trying to protect his riding clothes. Well, I just know whenever things get real, you turn yellow, lose your head. Yellow. Yeah. Sure seems that way. So I guess you won't be riding with me to rob the banking coach comes about this time in the strawberry. I heard one of the O'Driscoll boys yapping about it while I was inside. O'Driscoll boys? Do robbery? That's what I said, didn't I? After you. <laughs> Come on. I know an overlook where we can watch for them coming in. What are you doing so anyway, much robbery. camping out here like some crazy hermit? <laughs> Can't exactly stay in town now, can I? Like I told you. Just pay off your bonnie. Like a normal a person. Offering. So what's the deal with this coach? What do you mean? Comes through about this time every day, like I said, the end. I mean, how many men? Guns, 
Riders! Nothing serious. It'll be fine. I heard the bank's been hiring every trigger man they can get of late. The meaner, the better. You worry too much. Forgive me if I ain't wholly faithful in something an old Driscoll told you when you was half drunk in a jail cell. <laughs> he kept yapping about it. And then been you shot him. The regular. That's a good lead in my book. Damn old Triscolls are everywhere now. Bastards got a hold of most of Big Valley. Heard they took over some big ranch north of here. How the hell are you and Lenny end up down here anyway? Oh, you know how it is? A few loose ends, drink here, drink there. What loose ends? Nothing that needs to concern you. I always pay my share. It concerns me. When you put us in danger and we don't realize till it's too late. Like that move you pulled in Strawberry. Yeah. Making me kill half the town just for your precious guns. Precious they are. You need to roll a little looser, Morgan. Looser? I seen you come full undone more than once now. And you only been running with us a few months. Are we gonna rob this coach or bicker about it? What's done is done. Guess you could at least the... try to apologize. Do it. I hate Micah. I hate Micah with a passion. Since the minute I saw him, I instantly disliked him. Wow, you seriously do not want to talk anymore? Fine. Wow. All this place right. is gorgeous. This is the spot. Hold up on this ridge. They should be here in a little bit. Hold tight. Which way will they be coming in? Should be from over there. We need to hit them fast before they get into town. Well, just don't lose your head this time. Of course, tough guy. <sighs> they should be here any minute. <clears throat> Look, there they are. Right on time. Get covered up. Come on! <laughs> Ride! Yeah. Looks like the guards. Stop that coach right now! Again, you son of a bitch is gonna die. Oh, come on. He's a psychopath, if you've not noticed yet. Coach crashed off a cliff. Guess we gotta get them fast enough for them to not fall off a cliff. This Fine. is a robbery! Stop that coach right now! This is 
There we go. That should be that. I'll drive. No need to keep your face covered now. Wait a second. I gotta eat something. Let's go for a cigar. It's just you and me, sweetheart. Shut up. How long does it take? Next time I'll leave you in the dust. I'm hoping there won't be a next time. <laughs> Are we <laughs> moving? Me. Yeah! Baylock! Come on, boy! Here, find new rifle too. Ace. Here you go, Arthur. From me to you, that's more your style than mine. Lancaster repeater. We already got that one. What did I tell you? Like licking butter off a knife. Yeah, the Something second time. Like that. You don't want to just break it open here. Be done with it. Could be more than we can carry. And there might be a second crew of riders tailing. All right, then. Not to mention, we arrive back in with a big take and a new wagon to boot. Dutch can't say we ain't pulling our weight no more, can he? I ain't sure I trust this new act of yours one bit. Listen, I know we got off on the wrong foot, but I got no beef with you. I but I do. With you. Luck, you and me. No, uh-uh. Dutch knows I'm a feller that gets things done. Same as you. Gets things done? You'd be wearing a California collar now if I hadn't broken you out of jail. Yeah. And I have expressed my gratitude, have I not? It's done. Main thing now is getting this haul back in one piece. One piece mentioned. Shit! Now we're being robbed! Get across the river! <laughs> What the hell? Come on, Arthur, get out of there! You dumb bastards! Damn! You okay? No, thanks. Just keep your head down. Oh, come on. Eat it. You've got a point. Let's strip this coach down. It clearly ain't going nowhere now. You know, we should really pick up a lot of brain for one of these days. Save ourselves some bullets. Yeah, because saving bullets is such a concern of yours. Hey, give me a hand with this, will you? I will, after I'm done looting, Micah. Lord knows you're not a priority. Let's take what we can and get the hell out of here. That lock should shoot off easy enough. I'll give you the honors on account of, well, this little mess. Come on, I'm happy to do it myself. Is that the lock? 
got to do it. Come on, let's see if all this was worth All I see is you, me, a river full of dead O'Driscolls, and a lockbox. I'd say we're golden here, Morgan. Look at that. What's the cut here? It's good. Just make sure the gang gets its piece. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, big shadow. Tiny tree. And like I said, <laughs> that still don't mean nothing. Now, get out of here. You see <laughs> Dutch. Make sure you ain't followed. I know, boss. I know. It's been fun. Wait, that's... That's a lot of money. Wow, I did not expect that. Who's that? It's me. It's me. Welcome back. So, yeah. Abigail Easy. wants something from us. That's pretty rare that that happens. Yes, I'm back. I heard they wanted to hang you. <laughs> they wanted to, but Arthur did me right. Of course. Did they ask uh, anything about us? No. It was just uh, locals, a local problem. A fella I used to know. Okay. Well, would you please try to keep away from old people while we're getting this much attention? I understand, boss. It was and fun going out and working with you, Arthur. It was an old I've seen too many friends get killed to see it as quite so fun. Thank you. Well, I'd rather be shot for an outlaw than hang for a thief. <laughs> Reckon it's about the same in the end. Maybe. Anyway, it was fun. Sure. Why do they love having multiple conversations at the same time? Like when two people are talking, some random camp member just walks up to me and starts talking right in front of the other two people as if it's not interrupting a conversation you okay Good morning Arthur. Morning. Good morning what's with the badge you switch sides hey buddy hey jack good morning arthur look everything's gonna be all right all right let's see what his mama wants. No, she's walking away. No. Lady. Hey, there she Arthur. is. What's going on? Jose and John are looking for you. They went out to the moonshine stash, said you knew where that was. They was planning a visit to the Braithwaite place, but John needs to do something for Dutch now, so Hosea wants you to join him instead. Seems to be a lot going on. You're telling me. Okay, thank you. Right, so Abigail doesn't want anything from me. It's more like Hosea wants something from me. Arthur, I don't like it. Seems as good a place as any to get chased by the law, Miss Tilly. You ain't so dumb as that, Arthur. I'm a Negro. I know. I'll keep you safe, Miss Tilly. See? My Two conversations. Mama was a slave until she was 15 years old, Arthur. I'll keep you safe, Miss. You have my word. Oh, he's right next to camp. What is going on here? Hey, Arthur. What are you doing? Selling it back to where it came from. Why? I ain't got a market for it. They made it. They must have someone to sell it to. <coughs> Stuff look kind of lonely out here. I think we'll cut ourselves a deal. Uh, I get you. You and Dutch was just doing your duty when you requisitioned it. Now I'm doing mine. All right. I should get going now. I'll leave you fellas to it. Good luck. Bye, Thank John. You, John. We'll oh, I'm ready. Right Dutch asked him to look into something to do with the Braithwaite horses, I think. Sure, okay. Okay, let's head out to the Braithwaite's place. You know the way? Yeah, I've been there. 
So what exactly are we doing? This is the moonshine we took after blowing up the Braithwaite still, right? I think that good citizens taking the trouble to return their stolen goods deserve some reward, don't you? Then it's time we made a formal introduction, like the Dutch told us. Look, uh -oh. these are two big old plantation houses. All I keep hearing is they hate each other so much they can't see past it. I know. I've seen it. There's a gray boy and a Braithwaite girl carrying on a secret affair. I've been, well, helping them. The mind boggles. You think they're of use? Not sure. They don't seem too involved in the rest of it, but maybe. Well, I'm sure there's money in this for us somewhere if we can get in the middle of it. Already been Little here. Homestead, isn't it? Yeah. Hello, gentlemen. How are you? What's that in the back there? Oh. Moonshine, my fine fellow. Nothing. May I have a word with the man of the house? The man of the house is a lady. Mrs. Catherine Braithwaite. May I speak with her? I want to discuss a business opportunity. I mean no harm. No harm at all. You may happily shoot me if I do. <laughs> Okay, okay. She's at the house. Oh, he's coming with us. We'll be watching you. You heard the man. I can tell. Driver, proceed, please. something out in the hills thought thought maybe you was in the market for it for what some liquor I ain't in the market for what's already mine the way we see it it's ours <laughs> well with us possessing it and I, I checked all over for the life of me I couldn't see your name on it yeah oh. relax I ain't here to rob you we found <laughs> well, it, it seems that's easy enough after why don't I do a deal we robbed what do you sell that stuff for Dollar a bottle. You give us 50 cents. It's already ours. Well, look on it as a reward for finding the property. Alternative is we go sell it someplace else. The alternative <laughs> is you get shot. Now, who wants to get shot over a bottle or two of liquor? <laughs> Pay the man. Pleasure doing business with you. And... Listen, uh, we didn't take it, at least not without orders. From... Oh, I know exactly who gave you your orders. Old Sheriff Gray. You know what? I don't want it. In fact, sir, now you can do me a favor. There's oh, an no. extra ten bucks if you do. Drive the stuff into Rhodes, head over to the tavern run by Mr. Gray, and give the stuff out for free. Mama! Hush now. I believe they call that a promotional expense. <laughs> As you wish, madam. You boys come back sometime and tell me how you made out. Maybe we'll play a little cribbage. All right. Next stop, the road saloon. All right. Here we go. So I finally sold those Cornwall bonds. Got close to a thousand for them. I wanted more, but not bad considering how hot they were. Especially after that bloodbath in Valentine. No, not bad at all. Apparently, Cornwall's been pumping a lot of cash into the Pinkertons. Wants to keep their full effort on going after gangs. Gangs like us. Yep. Yeah. That don't surprise me. Oh. All right. This could get ugly. You and Dutch already have that thing going on in town with the sheriff. Yeah, yeah. Mr. Gray. That's it. Now we're inserting ourselves in his blood feud. We'll need something. I ain't playing dressing. You know how I feel about that. Of course you're not. You're... You're a clown's idiot brother. Jose, please. I'm the clown. You're the idiot. Just... 
look sad and keep quiet. Even you can do that, Arthur. Oh, I have to. Uh, put this hat on. No! Smoke this pipe. Bring your lip forward. Just a bit. Squint. Oh, perfect. <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. You can't speak. You're turned idiot. <laughs> right. Broke poor man is hot. Uh, there, there. Fenton, there, there. Don't get mad now. <laughs> Fenton! Little missions with us, they are always uh, a lot of fun. And never what you would expect. There we go. Okay, Fenton, stay calm now. <laughs> For Mama, she loved you so. <laughs> Just what a shame you had to strangle her in a rage, right? Grab two cases of that stuff and follow me. <laughs> Some additional lore. Come on, Fenton. Gentlemen! Gentlemen! Quite the town you have here. We just rode in from up north. Hey. Hello! Hello, I'm Melvin. This is my brother Fenton. Don't mind him, don't madden him. He's turned idiot. <laughs> Killed our mother, but it weren't his fault. How'd you boys, <laughs> how'd you boys like a couple of bucks? I bet you would. One for each of you. We're in the new trade of advertising, which is an American art form about ensuring people buy the correct things. I don't know. One more dollar. Says give us half an hour. What harm can we do in half an hour? <laughs> Go along now. Enjoy the money. Come along, Fenton. Let's hand out the liquor. Gentlemen. Oh, boy. Gentlemen. My name is Melvin. That's my brother Fenton. He's a bit funny, but boy, can he pour drinks fast. For the next 30 minutes, the drinks in this here bar, in this here town, are entirely free. Yeah. Yeah. The only rule is that you gotta drink them. So hurry up, put old Fenton to work. Don't get him mad, though. Is something wrong His with the drinks? His mother made him mad, and we buried her. The whole thing. Ah. He loves now, come saying up to that. The bar, everybody. Come on, fellas. It's your day. All of it. Be <laughs> Mr. Gray won't be happy about this. Oh shit, not again! Lenny is missing! Hey, send a couple this way, will ya? Don't be scared of Fenton, he rarely bites! <laughs> Don't keep them waiting, Fenton! Oh, wife is gonna kill me! <laughs> I only went out for milk! Drink up! Drink up! Fenton! Serve the drinks, Fenton! Serve these men! Not after another episode, episode, are you? Good evening, gentlemen. Quiet libation. You. Me. 
You're the bastards who stole the liquor we was gonna buy. Sure. Oh shit. We're in advertising. Uh, come on in and have a drink. That's our goddamn liquor. An honest mistake. Boys, get him. Oh, oh, what the hell? Oh. Are you okay, Jose? Cattleman revolver. What? Okay. Get off me! Oh shit! Come on, come on, come on! Shoot this bastard! Come on, Benson! <laughs> Nothing ever goes here. according to plan. They gonna let this go, are they? Over there! They got out the back! Got more coming after us. I see them. Well, shoot them then! <laughs> There's more to your right! Behind us, Arthur, coming out of the alley! We run a look around here! No, you don't. Oh, that was embarrassing. your mouth see any more of them? don't think so Jesus all this over a few bottles of booze it's insane right they don't want another gang on their patch <laughs> yeah. so silly okay pull off the road here All right, we're good. Yeah. Remind me never to take up a career. What was it? <laughs> Advertising. <Yeah. laughs> you think that woman set us up? No, I don't think so. Maybe. Maybe. This place is odd. Well, I keep seeing those fellas. Some local militia. Clearly not too happy to have some new competition. I'll go visit old Mob Braithwaite, see what's what. Why? We've been making money. The chest is filling up again, slowly but surely. Part of me thinks we just get ourselves good and lost. But we still need a lot more money before that can happen. Really? So we made now, so much. 
Let me go give old Mrs. Braithwaite some of this moonshine as, well, let's call it a peace offering. Sure. That was fun, Fenton. We'll make an actor of you yet. <laughs> Thanks, I'll Melvin. Go speak to Dutch. So, what do you think? About what? The fine folks around these parts. Oh, real nice. Exactly. On the one side, we have got the Gray family. Scots, degenerates, drunkards, the local law. You couldn't make this stuff up. Rich as Croesus. And on the other, their mortal enemies, the Braithwaites. Moonshiners, hypocritical, both rolling, we believe. In gold. Mm. And in the middle of it all, you got some inbred retailing of Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so what you boys thinking? We try to rob them both. Oh my goodness. I should have you let sure? them hang you. Why not? Because we got lawmen in three different states after us. Last thing I want is to get us into trouble, but we need money. Now we have How the much opportunity more here to put ourselves in the middle of something. Ain't nobody gonna know we was here. Because even without us, these fools are gonna kill each other okay, anyway. Okay, well, then let them. Jose's gone back to see that Braithwaite woman. Good. Hosea should definitely take the lead on this. I sent Sean over to Braithwaite Manor, too. Now you can meet up with them. Or join John and Javier at the Gray's place. Something to do with the Braithwaite's prize horses. Well, how the hell did we get in at the Gray's place? Sheriff Gray kindly put in a word with his father. It ain't that complicated. <laughs> we gotta convince each family that we're on their side. And then we rob them both. That Before is the dumbest idea you've had so far. the other lot will be long gone. Think of it as payback for my daddy. Payback. I ain't in the revenge business, Dutch. Least of all for something happened a long time ago. Well, I guess we all gotta pay for something. Now, if you will excuse me, Arthur, I got to write a letter. Oh, brother. Let's go, Micah. Micah? Sit down, my dearest friend, and show me just what you got. Now forgive me if I slip and stab you in the face. <laughs> you know, I think the last time I played this was with Skinny and those boys and Strawberry. Before, well, things all went a little crazy. Oh, someone's gonna bleed, all right. This has to be hurt. Here goes. Okay. Oh my goodness. Let's go. <laughs> now the fun part. Okay. We can beat him easily. Uh. Okay. Try to beat that, Micah. Well, I've seen some <laughs> before, but you're good. I'd like to check out the journal again. I'm pretty sure there's some new stuff here. Roads. So it turns out we're holed up outside a town called Roads, deep in old cotton country. This 
place has not recovered from war and those folks that is sober enough to think are still angry. The drunk, which is most of them, are angry still, but perhaps for other reasons. Adding to the absurdity, we appear to be planning to deputize ourselves into the local law enforcement. And I've already taken down a major bounty on their behalf, but mostly to rescue slippery old Trelawney, who had gotten himself arrested for some of his usual nonsense. Seems like there is a long-running blood feud between the two old families here, and both Dutch and Hosea believe they may be sitting on a lot of gold. We shall see, I guess. Mrs. Adler, the widow we rescued a while back, might be the craziest one of all of us. She fights like a cornered polecat with a rage and a bloodlust that frightens the hell out of me. I ever get on her wrong side and I am a dead man. I don't intend to. She's a fine woman, amusing and good-hearted and decent and angry. I took her shopping to stop her filetting. Old Pearson right in camp. After we got jumped, she went insane and showed she can kill with the best of us. Met a fella called Miss Margaret, an animal trainer and showman or showwoman. Mistress of danger, quite a character, wants me to find some missing animals. A while ago, I met an odd man dressed as a lady animal trainer. Are all Englishmen that weird, I wonder? All his animals were as fake as the rest of his act, until I was to find and retrieve a real lion from somewhere or other in Africa I thought was going to be another dog. But no, it was a real lion. Thing looked like it wanted me for its next meal. After hunting a zebra that was a donkey and a tiger that was a cougar and then that lion that was just a dog or I think that's right. I think I've lost track of the whole thing and an assistant that's a real woman and him a strange English maniac in a dress pretending to be all that he isn't. Remind yourself to never go on the stage. The weird English guy gave me a pretty decent emerald as payment for my troubles. Maybe he wasn't so bad after all. It's definitely fake, right? The emerald was about as real as the zebra and worth a whole lot less. Seems Miss Margaret made idiots out of all of us. What did I expect? The man who dealt in fake tigers gave out real gems? That's what I said. Saw so Albert again. Bored of fighting animals, he tried to fight gravity. Again, he somehow survived. I hope he will now retire from a life even more idiotic and dangerous than mine. Met an awful fella who will send me money if I send him fish so he can send others the fish pretending he caught them so they can pretend they caught them while out fishing with him. At least, I think that's it. Either way, the man Jeremy Gill was dreadful. He was. Deputy Sheriff, finally, we have achieved a state of true insanity. For the first time in my life, I'm a deputized lawman. We went off with some moronic dupe deputy working for the alcohol drenched Sheriff Gray pursuing some moonshiners. Those just convinced this will somehow lead to riches beyond compare. Seems the one powerful local family the Grays ex Scots is wearing with another proud English family, the Braveweights, like some long-running dispute from the border country. Apparently there's gold or women or something at the root of this, and if it's gold, we want it. Either way, we are so deep in the swamp and so entirely lost ourselves. I hope it will take the Pinkertons and their like a long while to find us. We shall see. In the meantime, a new career path in law seems to await. Seems like amongst our other perils, a gang called the Lemoyne Raiders won't take too kindly to outsiders or anyone who ain't living in the distant past. Stumble into this old drunk on the street of Rhodes. I don't know why it's why he made an impression. The world is full of self-pitying drunks. Hell, I hope to grow into one myself. But something about this fella, Jeremiah Compson, blamed everyone else for his plight, lost his career in his home, wanted me to go find a few trinkets at his home, Compson said, just north of Scarlet Meadows. Maybe I'll head over there sometime. Yeah, that was something. Went to the house, don't feel so bad now for him, feel like a fool. Bastard was a slave catcher. Went to see nice Mr. Compson again. Burnt his valuable ledger right in front of his eyes. All right, guys, I'm going to be stopping this episode here. I just saw that we've unlocked three new missions. So we can either meet up with Hosea or John and also Dutch. I 
just saw that we've unlocked that as well i just knew that helping micah in any sort of way was going to be a bad idea since we're now about to rob two very big and powerful families but yeah i'm having a lot of fun and even though things are probably about to go terribly wrong i cannot wait to continue playing thank you guys so so much for continuing to join me on this journey and for watching and as always i will see you in my next one bye guys